Everybody run away. Hey! Talking to you and you're listening to nonsense. Woman, what have you just done? By the way, who are you? Where's my daughter for me? I was told you are the one hiding her. Your daughter? Who the hell is your daughter? I'm not hiding anybody. Oh, you don't know for me again? I don't know. So after messing her up, you don't know her again? You don't know Chief Matthew's daughter again? For me? After messing my daughter up, you don't know her again? Where is she? What? So, you are the mother of that pack of trouble. God for me. Now listen to me, woman. Stop pointing at me. If you know what to be good for you, just quietly, gently get out of this place now before I lose my temper. Biggie! Nigga! Nigga there! Nigga there! Nigga there! So you want to run, eh? You will smell pepper today. Where is my daughter? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I broke up with her five months ago. Liar. I was warned that you're such a lying rascal. Where is she? Where is the girl? Where is the girl? Ross, I'm telling you. Where is the girl? Where is the girl? I'm telling you the honest truth. I haven't seen her for the past six months so now. I can swear by anything. <laughs> Criminal. Biggie. Bring him along. Right. He will help us find her. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Sweetheart, I'm waiting. Hey, babe. Baby. Are you ready? Yes. All right. That's I'm coming. Okay. You look resplendent. You look gorgeous. You know, sometimes I look at you, Evelyn, and I can't even believe that I'm your husband. You know why? I, I am still amazed. I am still carried away. You know, but this beauty, I, I still feel the way that I felt the first time I laid eyes on you. Oh, baby. Huh? I will never give up on you. Can you say that again, darling? Oh, baby, mm -hmm. I will never give up on you. You know what I do? Hmm? I love you with all my heart. Oh, boy, see how wonderful you look in this red dress, even for someone that is going to work. You know what? Let, let's just keep it going because <laughs> I just might change my mind. <laughs> Call your boss that you're taking the day off. Just keep serious? working because I'm about to change my mind right now. Okay. Keep it moving. <laughs>
morning. How's the night? Fine, thank you. You can sleep in the office. Ah, oh, <laughs> How are you? Hey. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Evan is not here yet. Yeah. Hey, bro. Good, 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 good. I'm good. Hey, you. Good morning. I got you. <laughs> you, you're not going to you. At all, man. Traffic was crazy coming here today. Good morning, guys. Good morning. What's up? Hey. Donald. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, everybody's here. It looks like yes, it's the last yes, person yes, yes, here. Yes. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I had all stuck in traffic. It's serious. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Hey. 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 Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Um. You okay? Do you, you, know, you guys are you're passing too much to my. Is your computer? Oh, okay. I'll turn that from here. Yeah, it is. Wow. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, what's yeah. up? I'm okay. Anyways, I came to collect the evaluation for my GV earlier. Oh, yes. I totally forgot. Please forgive yes. me. I should have no, brought it back. is all mine. You know where I come from, we don't allow beautiful women suffer. You like to flatter, don't you? And that's why I came to collect myself. Right? Hi, Aiden. Beautiful woman. Are you done with it? Yes, I am. Okay. Beautiful woman. <laughs> you be... Hey, Steve. What? What, you had bad news? What are you talking about? Yes, of course I can hear you. What, what's going on? What, did you lose somebody? Business. Okay. No, that, that's not... Steve, that's not possible. No, it's not. How can they... That they can't pull out at a time like this. It's not possible. All right, you know what? I will be with you um, barring traffic, 30, 45 minutes. Is that okay? All right? If you can hold them down, fine. But if you can't, I'll, I'll, I'll sort this out when I get there. All right? All right. All right, bye. Uh, sweetheart, come on now, I'm running late. I have, I have something just came up. I have an appointment. Are you ready? One second, baby. Please, piss it up. Oh, this is not right. This is not right. Come on now, we can't do this every morning. You, you should understand that I have to be at work early. All right. You forget that I have so much to do before leaving the house. Absolutely, I agree with you, and that's why I suggested I will get help, but you objected to it. Please, let's just not go there. Evelyn, how about you driving yourself to work sometimes? Oh, you know how much I hate to drive in legal traffic. No, you catch a car. That's what people do. You pick a taxi. Okay, fine. I can see you don't want to drive me to work anymore. Look, you're missing the point. The point here is your office is farther than mine. 
all right so i have to drop you off before going back to work and then i get to the office late. look i have situations popping up left right and said i'm losing business it's all right okay. partners are pulling out i have to get to work early that's I what i will find my way look sweetheart sweetheart come I, I, I know what you think but look calm down I'm just saying that if it's convenient for me to take you to work, I will take you to work. And if it's not, you just pick a taxi. Let's just go. Let's all right? Just... No, look, I don't want us to fight about this. Evelyn, please. Look. All right, fine. I will take you when... Be fooled by your compliments. Please move. Can I at least ask about can, can you leave me alone, Mr. Donald? Leave me alone. I have work to do. Just leave me alone. like forever you know girl come on babe i am so sorry i cannot make it to your wedding you know with okay. work and everything going to milan and going to um norway and it's been crazy i'm telling you absolute crazy you will never change i know right i will never change <laughs> but you know what i saw your wedding dress on facebook absolutely amazing don't give me five you killed you it, it but how are you doing i'm mm? good marriage has been i mean been good to me i saw your dress check out my bag milan gucci the newest edition i know i know I you have to make it up to me how much do you i know you want to that? steal this one you always steal my bag <laughs> seriously look at you look at this house oh my god Look at this. Your curtains and your chandeliers. I am dying. I'm envious, honestly. Who, who did this? You need to tell me. Don't you need to give me a number. Give me their number. You, huh? love, you <laughs> love it, right, don't you? It's beautiful, but how are you now? How are you doing? How's your good. husband? He is good. My husband is wonderful. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Don't be offended. You know me. You know I talk how I want Go to ahead. talk. Okay, Do listen. You it? need to protect what you have all these girls now all these girls they want to come and just snatch your guy and just give you high blood pressure okay you need to you know look sexy come on, hmm. there's nothing to worry about my husband is very faithful where are they even going to see him he doesn't go out all he hmm. does is to go out, go to work and come back home mm. he is very faithful ah, he's good to faithful. me he see doesn't even drink mm, seriously he doesn't drink listen i'm just telling you what I know and how I live my life. You see me, I don't have any, I have any issues, any problems, any headaches, nothing. I don't want to have any issues. I live my life and my husband lives his own life. I mean, that's just it. I'm happy. First, look on my back. And, <laughs> and you call that commitment? Yes. Well, in my own terms, I don't know about you. I've been gone for two months and he does not bother me. He makes his money and I make my money. Wow. Mm. Two months. Yes. How did he cope? How did he cope? How did I cope? Listen, I'm doing my thing and he's doing his thing and that is just it. I'm living. I'm traveling. Okay, I don't have time for headache. I don't Damn. have time for headache. <laughs> you. You will never change you. You're still sitting here. You didn't even offer me any drink. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I want the most expensive drink in that kitchen. You know Champagne. Don't. You know we don't have alcohol in the house. You better go and send your, your, your cook or I whatever am, you call him. I am him. not buying alcohol. Collins and I don't drink. I'll get you juice. <laughs> Get me juice. Anyway, the curtain looks cheap. It's not even the latest edition, anyways. everywhere but I can't find her 
was my daughter dead? No. I got a message from her last month that she's alive, but she doesn't want to see us. She can't come home. What did you tell her? The number that I got the message from is unreachable. I can't reach her. Oh my God. <sighs> Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. Pastor Mike said that she's suffering where she is. But her spirit is hardened against us. Whatever happens, go and look for my daughter, wherever she is, and bring her back home. Tell her, tell her to forgive me. Darling, you will still be here when she comes back, okay? But the doctor said that I have only one month to live. But the doctor is not God. You will live in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Can you sorry? worry. I would find my way. Listen. Why? Um, I actually spoke to one driver who makes my movements very, very easy. Come on, darling. It's fine if I take it. Look, I'm not even in a hurry today. I, I mean, know, so I can take but um, you know, I'm not fully dressed yet. My shoes, my bags, everything is upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to ride with you. Huh? I know. You're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. It's all right. All right. Let me run along. All right. Okay. You want to see me to the car? Mm -hmm, let's right, go. That'll be great. Right up to you. <laughs> um, I'm here. I just, just, just got here now. Oh, you're here already? Okay. Yes, I am. I'm, I am in the compound. I'm just right in front of the door. I was even thinking of coming to have tea before I go. You are silly. How can you have breakfast in my house? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me call you back. Hold on. My husband is calling. Hello, baby. Yeah, yes. Um, I am home. Any problem? Okay, on the dining table. Yes, there's a, um, there's a brown envelope here. You coming for it? Right now? Okay. I, I'm bringing it out then. Pick up. Yeah, I'm done all done. Just leave. Just, just go, go, go. I, I will explain what everything happened? to you. Yes, just go, please. Okay. Um, please open the door. No, 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 just, uh, just, 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 I'll just, just, I'll just, I'll just,
Yeah. Where's my wife? She's on to it. Uh, Moses. Who, who's that man driving out? Uh, That's the taxi driver I told you about. I asked him to go because I want to ride with you today. It's fine. You have the file. Huh? Yeah, that's the file. All right. Uh, okay, you can, yeah. Belts? Yes, uh... Are you okay? Um, yes, I just... Family issues. Your family? Oh, uh, yeah, my, uh, my, my, my uncle. You know, um, but nothing to worry about. Okay. I wanted you to proofread these documents for me. I don't want to get into trouble with the manager, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So how much are you going to be paying for this? Just state your price and it shall be paid. Are you sure you can pay the price? And what makes you think your price is too expensive? I'm not saying it's expensive, but it might be costly. Now you Sabi, I beg. <laughs> can you? Um, I knew you couldn't pay me. Don't out. 
Yes. Do you realize I have limited time for this? And no one can do anything to you. I mean, I can't imagine any man born of a woman doing anything to you. Donald, I can see you're not ready to help hey, me. Hey, Let hey, me just... Hey, hey. <laughs> I was just joking. Um, okay, you know what? Let's go to my desk and uh, I'll take care of this. You're already ruffling the... Coming home at this time and wrecking of alcohol. Look, Devlin, I'm not drunk, all right? I'm not drunk. I, I just took a bottle, all right? I, I took a bottle of beer just to, you know, keep pace with the boys. What That's I am all. perceiving right now is more than a bottle of beer, Collins. <clears throat> so, you're saying that I am drunk? I am not saying that. No, you're saying that I am drunk. You said that you just said right now that you can perceive the stench of alcohol from my mouth 500 miles away. That is what you said. Huh? <laughs> so I am drunk. Huh? Evelyn, I am drunk. Continue. I am drunk. <laughs> Collins. What is it? One of the things you promised me before marriage was that you're going to stop drinking. Why have you come back on that promise, Collins? Why? Evelyn, Evelyn. I'm not drunk. You hear me? I'm not drunk. Ever since I married you, I haven't gotten drunk for one day. Evelyn, I am a working man. I am a businessman. All right, these are the things that happen. You go out, you sit down with your fellow men at clubs and bars and pubs, and you network. That is what I did. I, I, I just took one or two bottles. That's all. Eh? But let me tell you something. Do you know that since this government came on board, business yeah. has been rough? Oh, yes. But I don't want to bother you with the details. All right, our partners are pulling out every day. I need to go out, Evelyn, and network and get new partners. That's the only way that we can continue supplying equipment. That is the only way that your husband will be in business. Tell me, let me ask you this. Of what use will it be if I come back to this house as early as you want me to, yet I cannot provide for you. I cannot put a roof over our head. I cannot take care of the, your needs. Could it make you happy? Huh? You're not making sense right now. What has that got to do with you coming home late and, and smelling of alcohol? Evelyn, now you are insulting me. I am you not. Me? Now you're insulting me. Huh? What is this? What have I done to you? Eh? Go out there. Have you not been listening to anything that I have been saying to you? Go out there and you find young men like me. Young married men doing business. They're sitting down at clubs, networking and talking business. That is what men do. Their wives have not left them. Huh? What do you do? I come back to this house because I love you. I come back to this house because I respect you. But you do not respect me. Collins! Don't shut up. Let me talk in my house. I am talking. Huh? Let me talk in my own house. I am talking. All right? Don't touch me. You touch me now, you tell me I'm drunk. I am talking. Look, let me want to let this be the very last time you bring up this matter with me. You hear me? I Don't know. even say a word. Eh? Just take yourself and go back to sleep because as far as I am concerned, 
You are the one who is strong. Yes. Lance, did you just say that to me? Yes. Correct. to take care of the customer. You see her standing there now. Oh, I don't know why I'm paying this boy. Where's this dress? Evelyn, honey, how are you? Huh? Give me a hug. Mwah. Mwah. You look gorgeous. What's wrong? Sit down, sit down. What's wrong? Why is your face like this? What happened? You can tell me I'm your friend. Diane. My marriage is not working. Uh, what do you mean your marriage is not working? Ah, so, so soon. What happened? I don't know what has come over Collins. He comes uh, home very late at night and always drunk. I feel so miserable. And have you confronted him? Did you say anything? Okay, what did he say? Each time I try to confront him, okay. it turns into a fight. Collins is no more the romantic man that I married. Mm. Honey, don't you know your husband is still very much the same? He hasn't changed. Let me tell you something. Don't you know that men are like politicians? They campaign to win the election. And once they're done, they shut the door in your face. That's just it. And you're just out there wallowing in, in, in pity. I can't believe Collins has changed so soon. He hasn't changed though. He has not changed. He's still very romantic and very, very caring, but just not, just not with you. What do you mean? I don't know how to say this. Honestly, I really don't know how to say it, but... <sighs> okay. Don't look at me like this, honestly. I'm going to tell you the truth. You're my friend, okay? But you... you... Your husband is still very romantic and, and still very caring, but, but just not with you, honey. Not just with you, with another woman. That is just it. Hmm? Are, you, are you trying to say that my husband is cheating on me? Evelyn, why are you so naive? Yes, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the only thing that can take a man away from his wife is just another woman. It's not rocket science. Oh my God, Diane, what am I going to do now? What am I calm down, calm down. Look at me. One thing I know, when a man needs his space, you just have to, you just have to give him his own space, okay? Until he comes to his senses. Space, I say, how? Oh gosh, Evelyn. Are you trying to tell me that you're not seeing anybody? And you're just sitting, you're just sitting here with all your beauty and glam and you're just crying over this man? Honestly. Huh? I'm not saying go out there and, 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 and do whatever he's doing. I'm just saying pick yourself up. You, you, need, to, you need to go out there and, and, and get your own. You know, we need a drink. You need to, you need to calm yourself down. Chinedu, please bring me that bottle of wine. You need to drink something. Honestly, I don't like your face like this. I am, I am not drinking. It's okay. It's Chinedu! This boy, I don't know why I pay him. husband is still very romantic and, and still very caring, but, but just not with you, honey. Not just with you. With another woman.
остались. Have you seen that book on how to satisfy men? It's very small like this. But the book on how to satisfy women, oh boy, is as thick as this table. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's just volume one. And it's just volume one. <laughs> right? <laughs> look, Collins, look, Collins, Collins. <laughs> Look, a wise man in my town <laughs> once told me. You see, he said that women are very insatiable, that it's very difficult to place them. Sure. That even the eyebrows, their eyebrows, God gave them eyebrows. But what do they do? They scrape it off and use pencil. <laughs> you can see that. They use pencil and <laughs> Draw a line on that same spot. <laughs> well, seriously, I, I've been wondering myself. God, why do people do that? Why, why do you people do that? Is, is that not a pencil? That's what I'm saying. I don't. So, bro, you don't need to worry up. I don't know why you're worrying up. It's been a while. You spaced out time to be with your own boys today. You know, I mean, this one time I have to go. I mean, I, I promised Evelyn that I'll be back home. I mean, so the time I, I, I promised her that I'll surprise her and get back home too. Yes. I warned you not to invite this guy. I mean, I think, you I, think, I think you're right. How can you tell him not to invite me? It's okay. It's okay. I, should I, I go be if I'm not here? I just hope you. you're not joking, but because if you are, in fact, I will not forgive him this last time. How can I talk about this? How many times? Who left? Evelyn! Evelyn! What are you doing here? So this is it. How did you find me here? This is the reason why you no longer come home early. No. Because don't. of this cheap prostitute, eh? Hey, don't talk like that. And you! What are you doing with my husband? Me, you and you have the... Hey! Evelyn! 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just leave me alone. Okay. Please. Please. Calm down. Calm down. Look, my dear, I'm sorry. I'm Collins. Collins. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Down. All right? It's okay. It's She's okay. usually not like this. People have been there. Some of the guys have been there. Doing our guys. All right, guys. You've always spoken well. All right, but the truth is, I have to go. You know, I mean. This one time, I have to go. I mean, I, I promised Evelyn that I'll be back home. I mean, so the time, I, I, I promised her that I'll surprise her and get back home too. That is, is everything all right? Huh? Everything is all right. Ah, sweetheart, it's been a very busy day for me. Yes, I know. It's been a very long day for you. Yes, it has been. Mm. And the last thing I was expecting is a cold welcome from my wife. Please, 
You're welcome. What is the problem? What have I done this time? I called you, right? I called you from work. Yes, you called her. Yes, and we talked, Evelyn. Everything was perfect. You were fine. So what suddenly happened? You want to know what really happened? Well, yeah. I'd love to know. What happened? You don't want to know. <sighs> okay, can I at least get something to eat? I'm hungry. You didn't eat from where you're coming from. Evelyn, what is the meaning of this? Do you know me as one who eats out? I don't eat out. There is no food. Are you implying that I'm going to go to bed? On an empty stomach. Don't you know your way to the kitchen anymore? should be asking you what are you doing here <laughs> <laughs> I, I normally come here when I'm bored but why should a beautiful woman like you ever complain of boredom don't out yep what would you do if you're in a noisy world and and still feel lonely well I know of a lot of people that would pay whatever it takes to be alone. Being alone and feeling lonely are two different things. You can have a partner and yet feel lonely. You can be alone and be happy. I mean, the thought of your loved one or memories of your loved one can make you happy. Oh, that's a, that's a new one. But staring at you, I, I'm just wondering how one person can have all these qualities. Beautiful, smart, intelligent, I have a nice smile too. <laughs> and yet you are a working class lady who is homely and caring. There we go again. Flattery. Flattery. I knew you say that. <laughs> hmm. I envy your husband. 
he gets to enjoy all these grandiose qualities all to himself every second of the day. Lucky man. Really lucky. Appearance are not always real, you know that. I know how you feel, I know what you're going through. You know, some men are just plain stupid. They don't know the value of what they have. And then they take it for granted. Smile. <laughs> okay? You deserve to be happy, you deserve to smile. And I deserve to take a sip from your drink. <laughs> really nice. I should get the same thing too. Look, you can actually pay me and I'll make you smile for Oh, don't pay me, I'll make, make you smile for free. <laughs> There's a smile. There's a smile. Hey! Cry, cry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I should take a picture of you crying. No. Yes, really? so I can show them at. Hey. So, you want to see me? Yes, I want to. Uh, yeah, I want to ask you some quick questions. That is, if your mistress will allow it. You're always following her around, aren't you? Which mistress are you talking about? You know exactly who I'm talking about. Like she's just a friend. And I am only a cleaner. I said it. <sighs> You're always with this cleaner. Oh, no. She, she's just a... <laughs> I mean, she's a hardworking person. And I like to support people that take their work seriously. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think she appreciated though. Um, you know these people with family issues, sometimes they come out as uh, cynical. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. Where is everybody? They should be on their way in. She needs to prepare this. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hello, Maria. Hello, madam. Um, sorry for asking, but you are always unhappy and normally not cheerful to me. Did I do anything wrong? Have I wronged you? Madam, please. I am not dragging anybody with you. Leave me alone, please. Pardon me? What are you talking about? Madam, leave me alone now. I am not dragging Donald with you, please. What? What did you just say? Dragging who? Donald? What are you, what are you insinuating? What is the meaning of exactly that? Exactly what it means. Do you want me to shout it or write it on this place before you understand? Leave me alone now. I am not dragging Donald with you, period. Ah, let me do my work, please. This lady actually mentioned your name, Donald. 
What is going on between nothing. the two of you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing? And she had the guts to talk to me like that? What did you tell her about me? But why would I discuss you with a common cleaner? A cleaner in the first place. Then there's something wrong somewhere. There is something you're hiding from me. I am not hiding anything. These poor people, you know how they behave. They take niceness for granted. And perhaps I don't think you should have asked her anything. Oh, so you're going to blame me now? I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying. Turn out. Why aren't you mindful of your position before getting involved with a cleaner in the first place? I am so disappointed in you. Eve, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I know how you feel. Perhaps I shouldn't have been nice to someone that doesn't deserve it. I'll fix it, okay? Forget it. I don't want to ever discuss this issue further. What was that all about? Well, what are you talking about? Why did you keep me waiting? Evelyn, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were going to step out early. I mean, I, I found out that we had a flat tire. So I just thought it so was So didn't you day. know that before calling me to come out? Why are you raising your voice? What's the problem? What's eating you up? I didn't realize that you were going to step out early. All right? So why, why are you screaming at me? Huh? Look, Evelyn. If there's something that you're not happy about in this marriage, you talk about it. You put it on the table, we sort it out. You don't have to raise your voice at me. It is I... all your fault. You deceived me with your fake romantic moves, only for me to marry you and turn me into a miserable slave. You are so selfish. All you think about is yourself and your job. You don't even recognize that there's a woman in the house because you have a bunch of prostitutes you can choose from. No, 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 I'm not that kind of man, Evelyn. I have loved you. Lies! I have loved you effortlessly since I met you. I do not have any relationship Lies. elsewhere. Lies! I do not have a relationship outside what you and I have going. Alright? I do not patronize prostitutes. That is lies. And you know that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who are these people? Your sisters or your aunties? Evelyn. Where did you get that photo? Oh, you, go, you want to blame me no, now? No, no, no. Where did you Instead get it? Instead of you apologizing for your wrong deeds, you want to, you what? Want to, you want to blame me? Apologize for what? 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 This is what you've been doing? What? I, I go out to, to have business with with friends at, at, at bars and pubs and, and you, you stalk me? You know me? what? Just move the car. You don't I want tell to me go to move home. the car. I said move the Why car. Why would you stalk me? Move the car. Listen to me. If you are tired of this marriage, you tell me we walk out ways and then you get the hell out of here. I this. am tired. Me. Oh, you're tired. I am very tired. Can you take me home already? I want to go home. I'm not moving this car. If you want to drive, come drive. You want me to pick a cab? Uh, you, you, pick, you, you pick a cab. Oh, very, very funny. <laughs> Um, I can see that you 
not forgiving me completely in regards to the incident that happened between you and the cleaner. Look, I observe that you've been avoiding me. You've been driving yourself to work. What can I do for you to forgive me? Donald, I didn't say that you've offended me. I just thought that it's wise for me to keep my distance, to avoid any scandal. We are not dating and people have started talking so already. So, do you want us to become enemies because people are talking? Because people cannot accept the fact that two people can be friendly in a workplace? I didn't say that. Look, Eve. If some people are too uncivilized to accept the fact that two people of the opposite sex can be friendly in a workplace, we shouldn't give them that pleasure. I've missed you. I've missed our friendship. We cannot be living like strangers in the workplace because of what people think. Let's go back to how we used to be. I've really missed that. It's Have you forgiven okay. me? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so how was traffic? Because yeah, I know okay. you're not used to... Uh, <laughs> I had... You know, I am. Um, I got you something, you know. I um, overheard you the other day telling your friend that, um, that you would like to wear something really, really nice to an event. So I just, you know, thought this would be good. Oh my god. I love this. Hems, I. You like it? I love it. Happy you do. <laughs> I also got you. Um, okay, you might want to bring this one out yourself. Um. <laughs> oh my God! I love that. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's fine, baby. This marriage, I wasn't. I wasn't hoping for a perfect woman because I'm not perfect. I just wanted love. Love without reservations. 
love I must have hurt you. I know you're angry, I know you're mad at me, but please forgive me. Right? I miss you. I miss you so much. I am standing here with you, Evelyn, not caring about who's right or who's wrong. I just want peace. I want us to go back to the ways we used to be. I want us to be happy again. I want us to be able to run around the house and joke and, and be excited in the presence of one another. That's what I want. Can we do that? I miss you too. Darling. Please forgive me. So much you you don't know how much I have missed having you in my arms. You don't know how much I have missed moments like this. Get a chance to grab you all to myself. So much, baby. I love you too. Why? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, sir. I am. Uh, yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, well, well, sir. Yes, sir, I am. Um, I'm. I'm already at home as it is, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Sir. Sir. Um, sir, is there no way we can reschedule for tomorrow, sir? Huh? Oh, 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 okay, 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 sir. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be with you. I'll be with you, right? Yeah, right away, sir. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye. Sweetheart, look, I'm sorry. Okay, I am really, really sorry. That was the GM of Fest Oil and Gas. You, you remember that deal that I told you about? He just called me right now that the MD wants to speak with me in person. He, he's actually waiting for me right now. Please, I, I have to go. Okay, but I, but, but I, I promise you, immediately I come back, I mean, we're going to pick up from where we left off, okay? Please. And it can't wait till tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 it can't. It, it, it can't, uh, because the, 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 the man in question is traveling to Austria, and he's going to be back next week. Sweetheart, please. All right, let me go. I mean, it's, it's for our own good. I mean, it's in view of the contract that we're talking about. Remember I told you about it? Please. It's okay. Sweetheart, please. That's look. okay. You can go. Sweetheart, darling, 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 look at me. You, you, you know that I'm doing this for us, okay? I promise you when I come back, I would, you know, I would do you like I've never done you before. You know, I'm going to be like a wolf. Huh? Sweetheart, come on now. Don't look at me like now. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I come back, all right, just, just don't, 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 don't touch nothing. Just stay like, just stay honey and wet for me. When I come back, I'm going to dig you really, really deep. Love you, baby. All right.
Leave me alone. I will want to sleep. Sweetheart, so look, I'm sorry, you okay? I mean, I mean, we agreed that when I come back, we'll, we'll get it out. Yeah. I was coming back with Collins, I stayed up for three hours waiting for you, only for you to come back and wake me up at this time. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. But I look, want to sleep. Sweetheart, look, let me ask me what happened. Look, I got there and then the man was... You know what? Save your explanation. I don't want to know. Do you know what time it is? Maybe. Only for you to come back here and wake me up. Let me sleep. Please calm down, right? Look, okay, I know how you feel, but you don't mean you, you, you know, if you just let me, you know, I could turn you on and get you right back. Collins, yeah. don't be selfish. Uh, Allow me to sleep so that I can be able to wake up early in the morning to go to work tomorrow. Can I sleep now? So that please. Good night. What's the problem? I am in big trouble. I am in big trouble. Why? What happened? I, do you remember that offer from um, Star Bank? Yeah, the loan application. And suddenly, I overvalued that property. And now the, the company can't repay the loan. The bank went in there to sell the property only to find out that it was overrated. But why would you overvalue a property in the first place? Man is a widow with seven kids. I just no have to help him out. I in this business. A, a, a widow with seven kids is already my flag. She knows this. I know, but she gave me the assurance that she was going to pay. You're not being professional. Lord. Okay, what's happening now? I was with the manager when the when the bank called. They said they're going to delist the company and sue us. The manager tried convincing him. He spoke to him and he said he was going to get to the roots of this. And that is the more reason why I am so scared. Do you? Do you know the implication of what you just did? The bank is going to descend on the company and the company is going to descend on you. Oh my God. What do I do now? I am so you just have to pray and hope everything gets sorted out. I'm going through so much crisis. This is just not the right time for this. Yeah, sorry, what about the file I gave you yesterday? I'm still here. I will challenge you to make a caretaker and a agent. I see. Morning, guys. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, I'm How about Evelyn? She took two days sick leave. Didn't she tell you? No, no. She, she... Are you sure? Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, hey.
I invited you here, Donald, um, for some explanation. I am really confused about this document. It was originally signed by Evelyn and then countersigned by you. Yes, sir. I hadn't resumed work here before this transaction took place. So I need to understand exactly who did this valuation. I did, sir. So, Donald, you did this valuation, and um, why did you inflate the value of the property? I, I applied the pro professional skill, but I, don't know, I, I, I felt it was the... Quiet! Don't play with me, my friend. Do I look like a child to you? No, sir. All the indices here are wrong. The fixed assets are exaggerated and inflated. All for you to gain personal advantage. You needed 5% cut. No, sir. From this company. It is obvious. Shut up when I'm talking. Now you've gotten the cuts. It's going to swallow you up. I need a written explanation of this transaction on my table before the close of work. Okay, sir. We may leave. And let me warn you, if for any reason this bank delists this company from their valuers or our stamp and seal have any problem whatsoever, our integrity, I will not only sack you, I will make sure you go to jail. Yes, sir. Cut out. Come back here, Evelyn. Sit down. Did I ask you to leave? No, sir. No. Are you uncomfortable in my office? No, sir. Then sit down and relax. Yes, I know Donald did this transaction. Didn't he? Yes, he did. And he's going to pay for it. Do you also want to pay for it? Since I resumed, I've been monitoring and studying the whole thing. And one of them is the staffing. For instance, one of the things that are very wrong is a charming lady like you going after a loser who presented himself as a star when he's actually nobody. And look at the nonsense he's doing. This is very unprofessional. A nuisance, confusing, great, beautiful, people like you. Do you want to be associated with the loser? Mm, okay. Uh, anytime you have any problems, come to my office. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. Please. Are you impressed with my work so far in this company? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You like it. Yes. You like it. Yeah. Uh, you have to understand people like me who have made it to this level. Mm, not to follow losers. Losers will only make you losers, okay? Okay, mm. yes. Do you want to go now? Yeah, I was actually doing something. Oh, right. Work, huh? Yes. Yeah, but you're working for me, so... <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. You may go. Uh, but like I said, uh, where are you going to? <sighs> no. This is foolishness of the highest order. You cannot put your job on the line because of a woman that warms another man's bed. What has come over you, Donald? Everything will do the same thing for me. Besides, I don't see the company sacking me. <laughs> because your father owns the company, right? You are just deluding yourself, my friend. Nobody is indispensable here. The company will not risk sucking me, they would rather give me a benefit of doubt. 
I don't know if this is love or juju or whatever name you choose to call it. But I want you to count me out. When it happens, please don't come to me for anything because I want you. So, what should I do then? Good question. Go there and tell the management that it was Evelyn that carried out that transaction and not you. Simple. Never that. I will do no such. Between Evelyn and the company, I will choose Evelyn any day, any time. I'll see you. I instructed security to keep you there. They were simply obeying my instructions. Oh yes. I asked the chief security officer to keep you at the gate. Because you have become a liability to the company. You have become a security risk. I gave you the privilege of tendering your resignation later over all the atrocities you have committed against this company. We have incurred so much debt and so much ignominy for the company. Just tender your resignation letter and you spawned all my advice. You are stubborn about all this. And now I have to do the needful. Your appointment is hereby terminated. Oh yes. You are hereby sacked. Yes. The CSO is going to take care of the rest of the process. You're going to hand over everything to Mrs. Abayomi and meet the accountant for your benefits, if any. Thank you very much. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. It's now, now official, Donald. What is official, Ken? <laughs> you and Evelyn are having an affair. You are dating. Hey. Evelyn and I are not dating. And you know this. I don't know anything, Donald. Well, Evelyn and I are just friends. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? Friends that will resume work earlier than others. Friends that will go home late together. Friends that will not concentrate when one is absent. Friends that will sit at Love Garden and at beach to while away time. And you call that friends. So you, you join those people that think Evelyn and I are dating. Let me tell you something. I can't even imagine myself getting involved in such... That's why I'm bothered, Donald. You've got enough problems, enough issues to add an avoidable crisis. Look, Evelyn and I are just fond of each other. And I'll tell you as a friend, stay clear of a married woman. Don't be fond of a married woman. It's dangerous. You know, the funny thing is, Evelyn will be very surprised to hear you sounding like this. It kills faster than poison. I've maintained that. Enough. I've, I've heard enough. Evelyn and I have friends. Nothing more than that. Can I drink my water in peace? You don't do now. Shoo! Huh? I 
am willing to give you 50% of my salary till you get a new job. You know he's after you, right? Who? Manager. I know. He's envious and he thinks we're dating. That's why he sacked me. He's wasting his time. Thanks for the offer. But I'll... Um, Sort myself out. What are you going to do? How would you survive? The labor market is is tight these days. It's time for me to pursue my passion. I'll be seeing you around. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. <laughs> Like the food here? Yes, yes. I love it. It's nice. I noticed you've been smiling to yourself. What's up? Hmm, baby. Hmm. You wouldn't want to know what happened at the office today. What happened? A female cleaner at the office stole some money from our manager's drawer. And um have her male counterparts who who is also a cleaner too just stepped in and owned up to the offense the manager didn't believe what happened but um he still insisted that it was him guess what happened <laughs> what happened he was sacked what yeah why did he do that he he loves her and he was willing to lose his job for her love. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> love. Is this man in question under respect? You wouldn't do that for anyone, would you? I can't you? be that crazy. Why would I do that? What, in this economy? I know. <laughs> no way. That's, that's unrealistic. I wouldn't do it. Not even for me. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You're not going to subject me to such foolishness now, would you? That's, that's foolishness. Huh? Now tell me, where would this man get the money to sustain the love he has for that girl? But honey, money is not everything. Oh, money is something in a relationship. Trust me. All right? You need to take care of a woman. You know, a lot of people have this notion that once you have love, then you don't need money. That's not true. All right? You don't live your life like that. You keep doing that. It's going to hit you really hard when you wake up one fine morning and then you don't have food on the table. What do you do? But honey, if you're in love, you don't even feel hungry. Really? Yes. Yet we're in this fine restaurant having this sumptuous dinner and we would have to pay for it at the end of the day. Does it add up? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Ha, 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 ha. 